What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're talking all about the markets as it's been a crazy ride for the psychedelic sector. We're finally getting a bounce from MindMed. I'm not gonna call it too early, it's only 2.30, so we'll see what we close at. Hopefully green guys, fingers crossed, it looks like there's some dip buying right now, but let's not count our chickens before they hatch. There's also, we're also gonna be talking about gold and silver and it's time to do a MindMed giveaway and I also have some really good news in terms of, you know, we've got some more merch on the way. So. Anyways, let's get straight into this video, guys. It's been a crazy trading week, especially for the psychedelic sector. So hopefully at the end of the week, we can get some, uh, you know, we can see a recovery with this ETF on the way. So it's been a test of patience, of course, as we know in these highly volatile sectors, when the trade doesn't go your way, it can be very painful, especially for new investors. So I never give financial advice. Please never take these videos as financial advice. I just wanted to put that out there. And I say it in every single video, but I just wanted to, you know, say it again and I'll continue to say it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a year market minutes full recap. We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff, so I hope you guys enjoy. And I also wanted to title this video, you know, where are investors moving into and the sectors that, you know, we might wanna keep on our watch list. So let's get straight into it, guys. And the first thing we do in every single one of our videos is comment of the day. I did wanna mention, however, that we will have a ton of sponsored content on the way. Um, we just dropped a video on a really interesting very small cap gold stock. They just released some news. The company's called Providence Gold, trading for just 10 cents. You can find the video up there on the channel. Once again, it was sponsored. So, you know, keep that in mind. Check the description in all of our sponsored content for full disclosure details. But um, I just wanted to throw that out there and, you know, say that I'm still very bullish on gold and silver for the year. So I hope to, you know, be able to cover more companies for you guys and bring some new companies to your attention. I also wanted to give you guys an update on Hello Pal. They keep releasing good news and the stock's up again today, another 10 cents. So I believe we started talking about this around 17, 18 cents and um, it's done pretty well so far. So there's another one to, you know, just maybe take a look at, maybe put on your watch list. Anyways, let's get into comment of the day, guys. So we're gonna do comment of the day. We're gonna talk a little bit and then it's gonna be straight to the giveaway. So it's an exciting day, you know, finally. Finally, we're getting a green day for MindMed. So we'll see if this lasts. I hope it's not a bear. I hope it's not a bull trap. We will talk later. We'll talk later about MindMed and there has been a substantial uptick in volume. So that is something that I've been looking for. We'll get to it. So Ramdat, hey Aaron, call Fosterville CEO and tell him holidays are over. Let's get some work done. I'm 100% with you on there. I'd love to get Brian Cesarczyk back on the channel and um, Let's do it. So hopefully, you know, we can get some updates. Hopefully we can get that share price moving. All right, Mutant Ref, next comment of the day. NIKLF up again 20%, up three times since entering at 20 cents. So that's pretty awesome. It doesn't always happen, but um, so far, Nickel Rock Resources has been a crazy runner. up another 13% today, 13.95 percent up to 98 dollars per share so uh i mean up to 98 cents per share not dollars per share what a tremendous run it's been for this company and um that's the thing about the small cap sector and that's the thing about my channel you know i cover a lot of small caps i cover a lot of highly volatile stocks so never buy or sell you know these stocks just because i talk about them these videos are not financial advice you know Companies do paid promotion to get their company on your watch list. And then at the end of the day, it's your decision to invest or not. But um, it's fun talking about these companies and it's fun when, you know, you guys pick a winner. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, some of these stocks have actually been doing good. Joel McKenney, Madison finally moving and we're moving again today. So that was really nice to see. Timothy, Z Timothy Zub. Why I watch Departures Capital, Aaron holds the same long-term view of gold and silver as I do and is my front line of research. How great is it that he does the vetting of companies leaving me to only have to check things out for the last mile before I buy? So thank you so much, Timothy, for that awesome comment. And, um, you know, I did want to say, though, when you're watching my videos, like I said before, there are sponsored videos on there. So keep that in mind. Companies, you know, will pay to get attention. Keep that in mind. Yes, I do do a lot of research. You know, my, you'll, you'll be able to easily tell which videos are, you know, for myself, which videos are sponsored content right down there at the bottom left-hand corner. So I want to be fully transparent with that for you guys. But anyways, enough of comment of the day, guys. Now it's time to do that giveaway. And um, holy smokes, guys, MindMed is absolutely exploding right now. 
We're seeing a tremendous rally. We're up 4.19% now. Alrighty, guys. Sorry, sorry. We uh, almost lost uh, the ballots there. You know, you know, people seem to be losing ballots left, right, and center. It's crazy. I don't know what to say. Anyways, so all you guys are entered into the Mind Man Draw. Like I said, we're going to have t-shirts soon, but um, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Who's ready to win some Mind Med merch? We're gonna give away one bag, one pair of glasses, and one sweater. So, three, two, one. The winner is Austin Channy. Austin Channy, congratulations, my friend. You have won the next Mind Med sweater. Second winner of the Mind Med bag goes to Christina Christina. So Christina Christina, Austin Channy, uh, email contact at departurescapital.com. Please give uh, your mailing address along with your phone number. The carrier requests that uh, we put the phone number on there. I guess, you know, if they can't get a hold of you or something like that. So anyways, let's see what else we got here. Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll, please. Winner is of the glasses, Robin Pascal. Robin Pascal, congratulations. So, congratulations, everyone. All right, guys, so you know what? To be honest, I like wearing these glasses. It's kind of a bad look, or maybe a, a weird look for new viewers. You know, when I start the video off with them, but we're just going to keep them on now, if you guys don't mind. So let's take a look and see what's going on in the markets. And we are seeing some green. Uh, the S&P is up 0.5% now. The Dow is up 0.2%. And the NASDAQ is up 0.7%. So what is going on on Wall Street right now? Let's check. So the Dow kept in check on political tensions as the House readies the impeachment vote. So more crazy politics going on. I think, you know, when we get through this whole thing, we're going to see some kind of rally as the market, you know, just gets past everything. It, it, it felt like... Monday and Tuesday, especially for certain sectors, was like super shaky, uncertain. People really did not want to take any risks. Alrighty, guys, so the Dow swung between gains and losses Wednesday as investors weighed in on Intel led climate technology against ongoing political uncertainty and a record surge in global illness as it threatens further restrictions. And we know this, so let's take a look at gold now. Gold's up 10 bucks per ounce to 1853.90, or sorry, 975 now. Gold and silver doing all right, you know. I'm happy to see gold above 1850, trying to repair those charts. It's been very tough recently for gold, but I still do remain bullish and optimistic. Silver, on the other hand, around 25 and a half bucks per ounce. The rally or the recovery, you could say, seems to be stalling, but um, I still do like silver in this environment. And I think, you know, the prices of some of these miners, they were hyping up because they thought the market, you know, silver was going to break out. Oh my gosh, we're around 27 bucks per ounce. 28 bucks per ounce and then bam we got slammed again so although it is holding on so i remain bullish and um hoping to still book those profits in the psychedelic sector so far it's been tough you know with this volatility and mind med dropping so substantially this week but um you know maybe we can come out on top on friday we'll see guys the week's not over yet so has not been an easy week though we'll, we'll put it that way so anyways nasdaq leading the show today we'll get back to mind med um after you know we saw that really nice spike in share price but uh we're not closed yet it's not even three o'clock so like i said don't count those chickens before they hatch and um i was also taking a look at compass trying to figure out what this sell-off you know why this sell-off was occurring and um, it's not just mind met in the sector so first i want to talk quickly about gold so why 2500 dollars gold price didn't happen this year we were surprised gold is a 12 trillion dollar market it is not like crypto, which is a $1 trillion market. They're very different. I think Bitcoin is very different. It's not the same as gold. People say to me, is Bitcoin digital gold? I say, no, it's not digital gold because gold is not digital Bitcoin. So uh, just one opinion. He thinks that gold's going to hit the low 2000s and then by next year, 2500, I would be happy in a rising gold environment especially owning you know, the large cap miners, which I still do remain very bullish on. So I want to talk quickly about Jeffrey Gandlich and his stance on Bitcoin. 
and his portfolio in terms of hard assets. And then let's really talk, you know, where are investors putting their money? So with a new year comes a new forecast. Double Line CEO Jeffrey Gondlich is now neutral on gold and Bitcoin while advising investors to have 25% of their portfolio in hard assets. So 25% of a portfolio should be in some real assets. 25% of a portfolio should be in some real asset play, could be a commodity, particularly industrial commodity. So I'm going to assume, you know, he's probably bullish on copper. I do think that, you know, we're in the midst of a commodity bull cycle. However, you know, somewhat manipulated and influenced by everything that everything else that's going on in the markets, like Bitcoin, the dollar, bond yields, um, monetary stimulus, stimulus in general and and just everything so i am still bullish on commodities price advance for gold on some safe haven demand we're not going to get too much into that so deutsche bank raises its price targets for some key miners in the uk so i just wanted to say you know they they increased their price targets on a few select miners which is good they downgraded rio tinto but upgraded bhp glencore and anglo american along with uh, that name that I can't say. So that's interesting news. And then Russia's gold reserve surpassed its US dollar holdings for the first time, says country central bank. So that's one thing. Russia has been very, you know, a bit, they've, Russia has been a very big buyer of gold, you know, throughout this whole time. And um, I got to agree with them. I'm a, I'm a gold bull, so what can I say? Russia has stopped buying gold back in April with total holdings remaining at 73.9 million ounces. The reason for the increase in the value of gold reserves comes from the increase in the price of gold, which ended 2020 up 25%. So anyways, it's nice to know they're still holding gold. So guys, let's take a look at some of our favorite stocks and then we're going to wrap this video up real quick. Um, so first stock, of course, we're taking a look at is MindMed. So we had this, you know, pretty intense spike up all the way to like 377. And of course that was met with some selling, but um, I think the moral of the story here is is that you know there's there's some life back in the stock or at least so it feels whereas the bottom was 337 the bottom no one knows to me this looks a lot better than you know a constant steady decline we got a lot more volume today traded um, we're pushing like four and a half million maybe five million shares i don't know what it will close at it's up eight cents with over an hour left to trade so we'll see where we close at but uh, i'm pretty sure We'll take a green day over a red day anytime. Now, a few catalysts on the horizon. I have no idea, you know, what's going on with any news flow. I don't, um, I don't anticipate to interview JR. We just did an interview with JR, but I will say that um, we got that ETF launching apparently on Friday. So that could be one end of the week catalyst that people could be looking forward to. Um, here are four psychedelic stocks certain to be in the ETFs portfolio. And just doing a quick look, um, Compass, of course, it's the biggest one. And then the second one they said is MindMed. So MindMed, you know, it, it just talks a little bit about the company. So we'll see, guys. That is one thing, you know, that I think should be positive for the sector. Um, and then we'll see how we trade up until then. But uh, this chart, the daily chart today, the volume, there are some good signs, you know, that... Uh, Maybe we reached some support. Now, don't get me wrong, this could be a bull trap. So be cautious. Remember this sector is highly volatile. I don't gotta keep saying it, but at the same time I do, just because, you know, I know how people get, they get emotional, they get excited, um, and then that's just how it goes. So I was just taking a look at the charts here. I wanted to also show you guys this. I was taking a look at the charts for Compass, and you know, I'm not a technical expert, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching are probably better at technical analysis than me. But I was trying to paint this picture here about Compass and, you know, when is it going to bounce? And I drew this before we had this, you know, nice little bounce. But by the looks of it, you know, since their IPO, it looks like there's an ascending level of support. So Compass has declined for quite a while, actually, since January, you know, since like the third to last week of January is when it peaked. And then it's been consistently declining all the way from over $60 per share to just below $40 per share. So we're finally getting a little bit of a bounce. Now, I don't know if it's because, you know, traders, investors, and everyone are, are seeing this, the same thing as me. 
you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but so far so good. Like uh, it, it literally, like I drew this and it literally happened like after I drew this. So uh, we're gonna look at Numi actually. I wanna look at Numi uh, before we switch to a different sector like gold and silver. So Numi's still in the red. It's down to $1.16, but um, support does look like it's at around a dollar. So, you know, hopefully we hold on to that. I would definitely say that, you know, recently these charts have tested our patience and, you know, technical analysis is one thing, trying to, you know, guess where it, when the stock's going to find a bottom. You never truly know, but so far, you know, these charts have played out pretty well. I mean, we got into the 330s, we're bouncing today, we'll see if it holds, and um, it, it's, just, it's just a wait and see for me. We'll see you guys, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, so let's get into some gold and silver now. So AAG is on the top of my watch list, declining yet again today, um, down another 7.97%. So I do remain bullish on this company and the fact that um, we're still higher than we were on these you know, recent run-ups that we saw. It seems to be a pattern that you know I can continue to identify, which is why if we do manage to squeeze out some profits in the psychedelic sector by the end of the week, I really do want to, you know, hopefully put some money back into gold and silver. That that would be really awesome. So, you know, we've seen this stock pops, kind of drops off a little bit, pops, drops off a little bit, pops, drops off a little bit, pops, drops off, pops, and. Um, Depending on what happens to silver, I could see it trading in the 110s. Depending on what happens to silver, I could see us kind of descending a little bit here, trading sideways into the low 120 range, maybe into the teens, and then pop into all-time highs if if we get that breakout for silver. So I really, I really hope we get it, guys. We'll see what happens. Um, it's been a shaky week. It's been a, you know, just it. the market just feels kind of like, uncertain so as to be expected as to be expected so let's take a look at a few other companies i wanted to look quickly at a couple of the large caps and we'll just spend like one or two more minutes so kirkland lake still trades for 51 dollars per share i think you know that's uh i think personally it's a good deal of course never financial advice so please don't take it as it just because i say i like a stock um 79 bucks for newmont 2.6% dividend yield. Newmont's held up pretty well, actually. Um, FVI, Fortuna Silver Mines, down three dollars, down 3.3%. So Fortuna has cooled off a little bit. Um, I still think you know that next leg up for silver. Hopefully we run. Gatto, Gatto has also pulled back. Although we are seeing a green day today, it's a really nice green day. Happy to finally see it up 2.37%. So looking like we're finally running into you know some support for this one. I wasn't surprised to see it pull back from almost 20 bucks per share. Actually, we did touch $20 per share. So booked 115% profit. Well, not booked, but um, I was at 115%. Now we're more like 80, 90% or something, but still looking good. I just plan to hold this. Next Innovation's having a pretty good day up 1.95%. So. Anyways, guys, those are some of the stocks that I'm looking at right now. Actually, let's take a quick look at TAT. TAT is up 3.48%. So, uh, you know, you know, recently, it's almost like the market, you know, over the last hour or so, we've seen some positivity come back into things. So we'll see what happens. And last but not least, I wanted to say the feeling I've kind of been getting is that investors have been taking a little bit of risk off the table. It looks like they're repositioning their portfolios potentially moving you know some money into value stocks i kind of feel that you know let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same and uh that's pretty much my thoughts on the market what i'm looking at my strategy today's a bunch a much better day for MindMed. here we are up 3.6 percent so yeah guys we'll see but anyways that's it for the video thank you so much for always watching and supporting don't forget to of course smash the like button subscribe and we're out of here always remember departures capital is for information education and entertainment purposes only don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here buy or sell a stock because you've done your research you've done your thorough due diligence and you make your own personal investment decisions for yourself this video is not financial advice we'll see you guys in our next video